Hello everyone, so I'm really excited today to be doing a unboxing of the Sparrow Bolt. It is a robot that you can play with kids so they can learn coding. It can be done through drawing, JavaScript code or scratch blocks. This video is sponsored by Sparrow Bolt and I'm really excited to be doing this first sponsored video on my YouTube channel. So I'm really excited to try it and um, let's open it and we'll see what's inside. So I just opened the box, it's really nice. Look at this. Like, it's brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Maybe that's not the right word. <laughs> um, the, but it's really nice. I'm, I'm really excited to play this because I have a little cousin. So it's gonna be a couple years before she's eight years old, I think. It's for eight years old and going up. Yeah, it's really nice, let's open it. understand which side the box open. Oh, I like this. Well, the game is even in French. I like that. Um, it's like translated in French and in English. That's 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 perfect. Yeah, so I think there's another one here with the degrees, so that's really helpful for kids to learn. So the charger maybe? Yay, and the sparrow bolt, so needs to focus. So here it is, the little um, LED screen. I hope I don't say anything not <laughs> that's a lie today because I don't play a lot with robots. Like this is this is new to me. <laughs> so that's nice. Okay, so let's download the app and see how. Oh, it's there. Getting started. So I first need to charge it, then download the app, and then connect and play. So, okay, let's charge it. So I just plugged the charger in the USB port. It's really fun because you can see all the inside of the charger and you can see the electric elements. I like that. Oh, I guess it's charging. Oh, you don't see the camera. So, ah, it's, it's lighting up, it's so fun. So I guess it's charging, it, it's, it seems like it's, there's a light when you're charging. Wow, it's so nice. I can't wait to play that with my little cousin. <laughs> like the LED screen, it does some drawings. It's so nice. <laughs> wow, it moved. <laughs> okay, so in the meantime, let's download the app and see how it works. So privacy policy, I accept. Enter your age, okay. It started at 27, so that's great fun. I'm 23, I just, I just celebrated my birthday. Okay, enter your email. Gilmostech.com. Done. So select your robot uh, bolt. Hold your robot close to the device. I 
I wonder what what the lights means. Like, I don't think it was yellow before. Maybe it's the level of battery. I don't know. I think I read it takes six hours to play for two hours of charge. So my iPhone is still updating, and I need to get my phone close to the robot. Sorry. So I'm just controlling with my iPhone and and it moves. Ah. It's so fun. <laughs> to dry oh my god that's so fun So now I'm playing a game and I'm moving the robot to play. <laughs> oh, that's a good thing. Oh. Okay, I'm having fun now with this little game. sparrow since I opened it in the beginning of the video so I had a lot of fun playing with the robot um, it was quite fun trying to get my cat to play with it too um, and uh, I really enjoyed it uh, I'd say it's quite expensive with a hundred and fifty dollars um, which is the price of the the toy but it's really worth it um, if you can afford it I think it's really great because you can either do a drawing and the robot will follow the, the drawing you've made or write JavaScript or use blocks like Scratch so I tried everything except the JavaScript <laughs> because I'm not real good in JavaScript and I don't know why I just wanted to play with the toy just like a kid would normally do in the beginning but it's really fun and uh, I totally recommend it. Um, if you um, can afford it, why not just have fun with it and let your kids learn logic of coding with, with the game. I'm going to lend my robot to my friends who have kids, so I'm really excited to know how it's going for them and if their kids like it, etc. So there's also a community, community tab that I really liked in the application. I tried a couple of programs that other people in the world made. So for example, a light fading and it was really good to be able to see what others are doing with the robot and you can also write comments so it was very fun to see people enjoying the programs others made. I was also very surprised because there's some there are programs that you can use from the community, but there's also some classes that you need to take. So it's, it's not giving you the program and you don't have to do anything. You actually have to follow the steps that they're giving you in the classes. And some of the classes are for students like up to university. So you can even learn um, things with the robot for university, for example accelerometer, velocity, things like that, and the pitch, like the yaw, roll, things like that. I'm not very good at this, so you see, I still need to practice and the robot could help me too. Um, so it was very fun to see that you can learn a lot of things for physics with the robot, and um, there are classes you can take on the app, so you just need to follow the steps to understand and learn um, what professors actually are sharing on the public community. That's everything I had to say for the robot. I had a lot of fun and uh, I'll see you in another video. Thank you for watching. Bye.